we're going to talk about the best character and we're going to rank all the characters inside of Marvel Strike Force. And I, I, I just want to say this. Uh, one of my pet peeves is when I go to a restaurant and I say, what's good here? And then they say, everything is good. And I was like, you know what? That did not help me make a decision at all. So uh, I've changed my line of questioning when I go into restaurants to this is like, oh, can you tell me two things, two questions for you? What is the most popular item on the menu? And what is your personal favorite? And as long as you have a good, honest server, you usually get a good suggestion and you're able to move forward. However, asking what's good here, they always say everything's good and nothing is accomplished by that answer. So uh, we're gonna talk about what are the most popular characters in here. We're also gonna talk about my personal favorite. And then I've come up with a rating system for each character on a scale of one to 100. And it's just my opinion. Top on the list, coming at, at a 94 out of 100 is Iron Man. Now I wanna say this right now before I get into the merits of Iron Man. Uh, Iron Man is my main. And I feel like if you ask a player uh, to talk about their their main character, they're gonna say it's the best. So I kind of wanna acknowledge that uh, my opinions on Iron Man might be overinflated because he's my main character. I think he's the best character in the game. In fact, if the next patch comes out and they have uh, a nerf uh, to Iron Man, it would not be surprised. Uh, a lot of other people feel this way. I feel like he's the most popular character and he, I also feel he is my personal favorite. So we're just gonna leave it at there. He does a lot of great things. I think he's really good in PVE and PVP. There's a tons of great builds. He feels amazing to play and I love him. It's just that simple. I think he's actually the best. And if you want, that's if you ask me what's your personal favorite, what's the most popular, I would say Iron Man and Iron Man, but I'm very aware that I am biased towards him without a doubt. Also, coming in at a 94 out of 100, and, and I would give Iron Man a 95 out of 100, but I just took one him down one level just because I, I, I know that I probably have an unreasonable bias, is Black Widow. Black Widow, I also give a 94 out of 100. And uh, what she does great is she does a lot of single target damage. Her ultimate, she allows to uh, go invisible and then does a guaranteed crit. She has a lot of moves that have iframes. Uh, she is uh, amazing at PVP, uh, although uh, not as much anymore, uh, but she's still quite good. I think you're gonna have a good experience playing her. The only thing bad I can say about Black Widow is she doesn't fly. She doesn't fly, she runs around on the ground. Of course she doesn't fly. And that's probably the only downside to her, but I give her a 94 as well. Uh, they did nerf her pretty drastically, in my opinion, recently. Uh, or when during this patch. So there's there's been some blowback. A lot of people have switched from Black Widow to other characters, but I still think you're gonna have an equally fun experience playing her if you wanna play Black Widow as you would with Iron Man. Uh, therefore, I give them both 94s. Also coming in at 94 out of 100 is going to be Spider-Man. Boy, Spider-Man, I, 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 I was leaning towards making him my second uh, character like I was gonna build him out and have him go straight dodge But I've been having so much fun with Iron Man that I I just kind of lost interest in pursuing a second character But uh, that was going to be Iron Man. Uh, he feels amazing. His dodge is amazing uh, And you can build him specifically for dodge 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 and he wrecks nerds inside of PvP So I think there's two things that I noticed in playing him and I've got every character level 100 uh, and I played all of them all the way through the story mode. Uh, he does everything but kill bosses. He doesn't have a lot of damage. Now, I, I I felt that he was very good against other players because of his dodge. And I also felt that he was very good against mobs in going through the story modes, like large numbers of of, uh, of um, minions, rather. Which is, in the end, the whole scope of the game that's not that important, frankly. Uh, but... Uh, what I did notice is that his his damage output for like a raid boss isn't that high, but I think you you get Spider-Man high enough, you're still going to clear all of the PVE content. I believe all all eight of the characters, and uh, you know when they get powerful enough, are going to be able to blow through all the PVE content that's currently in the game. Uh, but that might change going forward if we get new PVE content. So I'll give him a 94. Also coming in at 94. Uh, so I'm gonna say 
is so so far we have Iron Man, Black Widow, Spider Man, and also Doctor Strange. Uh, the one thing that stuck out to me the most uh, when I was playing Doctor Strange is that he had this uh, this attack that had a, an insane amount of range, much further than any of my abilities than Iron Man had. He has some amazing AOEs. So I, I, I feel like he's got these this great abilities where he can he can ping a target from long distance and then he has crazy AOEs. Uh, he has some support skills that are very important. And I, I think that he's vital in, 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 you know, in running in teams with special operations. Uh, if the game moves forward, there's some uh, group buffs that he has that might be good if they ever come out with game modes that, that need that. Uh, his AOE and his mob clearing is over the top. And then he has that very long range attack, which also seems kind of important in PV, uh, PVP content. So uh, these four characters that I just mentioned are my favorites. I think, uh, you know, they're universally agreed as being, uh, you know, amazing to play and fun. Next, coming in at 93 <laughs> is Captain Marvel. And I think Captain Marvel, I had, a, I kind of found her a little bit clunky to beat, to play. And uh, how do I say this? I think that, uh, you know, I still think she's uh, amazing, right? And a lot of people love playing Captain Marvel. I think it's going to take a little bit more work uh, uh, to get her to do things amazingly. Uh, specifically, it seems like a lot of her abilities are tied around her ultimate, and and she seems to play quite a bit differently uh, when you get her late game and start developing out her specialization tree. Uh, when I was playing her up to level 100, I found that she did insane amount of single target damage, and she melted bosses. She probably cleared uh, like the bosses in the story mode the easiest uh, it just felt like it was just like automatic. And I, she really surprised me. Uh, before I got all of the characters to level 100, I had a lower opinion of her. But as I played her in the story mode, my opinion of her went up. And, uh, I, you know, I still don't know if she's in the same tier as the other four that I mentioned above. But uh, there's a lot of Captain Marvels out there that I'm afraid of. And they've absolutely been deleted by Captain Marvels. Next is Star-Lord. Star Lord actually went down a little bit when I played him, and um, what I'm hearing from uh, being, I found him a little bit hard to get through the story mode. I, I found like I really kind of had to like be very alert, and I really had to play it. Like it was just, uh, it was a little bit, it was more challenging than it was with a lot of the other characters. Uh, I did not particularly care for his voice lines, and I had to turn them down. Uh, but uh, what I'm hearing is that I, I didn't uh, take enough time to develop out his uh, his builds uh, and to focus on specific types of builds for specific uses. And so uh, what I'm finding with Star-Lord is that uh, the Star-Lord fans tell me that I just didn't play him right. I didn't play him long enough. I didn't get into a specialization tree. And I so I kind of feel like he's similar to that of uh, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel and Star-Lord, I believe, are amazing characters. They just need a little bit more care and attention to get them up and running to compete with those other four characters that I felt were pretty, like, fluid and very easy to use and a lot of fun. All right, so now we're getting into the characters that I rate at uh, 92. Now, I, I want to, I know you're saying probably now, is like, wow, you raced, you raced the, be you rated the best four at 94, these two at 93, and the last two are at uh, 92, 92 out of 100. Because the reason why I rated them that way is I want people to understand that you can have a good experience with any character. And the difference between my opinion on, on a Storm or Captain America versus my Iron Man is that I feel like my Iron Man's a 94 and these guys are 92. They're still amazing. You're going to be able to do everything with all eight characters. The reason I actually did not like playing Storm at all and my opinion of her worsened and worsened the more I played her. I felt she was insanely slow and clunky and truly horrible to play. I did not enjoy it at all. Uh, and what I mean by that is uh, it feels like she has this combination of being slow and squishy. Where I think that's a bad combination of, of characteristics in an MMO. Like I can understand a, a squishy character that is fast. And I can understand a slow character that is tanky. But a slow and squishy character is just not my play style. 
Now, there's still people out there that love that, that they love playing Storm. I, I know that you can do everything. I've been deleted by Storms. Believe me, I've been deleted by Storms. They definitely get what they need to get done. Uh, I just I just found that this combination of having these incredibly slow past times and not having and being relatively squishy was kind of annoying. Uh, and she does have a couple of abilities that make her invincible. And I think it just takes a really smart player uh, to play Storm and to not be out of position and to time your abilities so that you're invincible when you are. Uh, and it, it just didn't seem to be like a, a good casual experience. You know, I was I took her to level 100 and I was just like, wow, this feels clunky and horrible. And I, I just think it has a high skill cap. If you're up for a challenge, I recommend Storm. And then lastly, and I want to say, um, boy, how do I word about Captain America? Um, right now, once you get to level 100, um, every week there are these challenges. And these challenges are based off of uh, where you're competing against everybody else on your server. And like for me, I try to get in the top 100. The way that Captain America plays doesn't lend himself to rank well. On those, uh, those, uh, on those things, unless you just go crazy and you're mega kraken, right? Uh, he does. He's not specialized. He's a tank, and and I don't feel that the current system uh, for you know in the weekly rankings uh, helps that much if you're a Captain America. Now, is he fun to play? Yes. Does he do what he's supposed to do? Yes. He kind of is a brawler tanker. He has high single target damage. Uh, he does not fly. I believe he's at an extreme disadvantage in PvP formats because he has to close the gap. Uh, so he, in my opinion, is, uh, you know, I think you can get a lot done with him. Uh, but I, I'm really grateful when I play with a Captain America. He's got a lot of support. So I feel like there's certain characters that are going to benefit more if the game, the, the, the game modes in the game come out in the future that uh, where you have to work as a team and you're going to need some of the support kills, uh, support skills that Captain America provides. And so that's kind of how I feel about him is that he might shine later in other patches. But right now, the way the game is set up, uh, I put him at the bottom of the list uh, at, at, a, at a 92 out of 100. So my suggestion is to try all the characters. I'm glad that I played all, all eight characters to level 100. There's going to be a ninth character coming out. Uh, probably in the next month would be my best guess, uh, Magic. And uh, what I'm expecting is they're going to open up a ninth slot for us to get the ninth character. A lot of questions on how that's going to work. Uh, it hasn't been stated by developers, but I'm looking forward to that. And my suggestion stands to try a bunch of characters and find the one that works the best for your play style and then go with there. And then lastly, I want to say one thing. Iron Man is the best. Goodbye. Do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the earthquake? Do you feel the earthquake?